So, you just bought an electric vehicle. Congratulations, but now you've got to decide whether to invest in a level two charger. And believe it or not, the answer isn't as cut and dried as it may seem, but I'll break it all down next. Common wisdom dictates that if you have an EV, you should install a level two 240 volt AC charger in your garage or carport. This is almost always our recommendation here at EV Pulse, but there are a few exceptions. Going the level two route provides the best ownership experience because you can easily, affordably, and relatively quickly recharge right at home. And typically you get between 25 and maybe 50 miles of range per hour of charging, which is up to eight times faster than with a level one charger. Now, price, of course, is a potential hurdle. The actual chargers themselves usually aren't that expensive, but installation can cost thousands of dollars if you need to run a new circuit or upgrade your service panel. And there are cases when these added expenses are simply not worth it. So who's better off steering clear of a level two charger? Well, a few groups of people, actually around towners, workplace juicers, and city centerers. Yeah, that last one doesn't sound very good, so let's just say urbanites instead. And I'll explain what all this means after a few words from Lectron, the sponsor of this video. Did you know your shiny new EV may be missing a few things? Yeah, some manufacturers do not include portable chargers or certain adapters, and if that's the case, Lectron can help. You see, they sell all kinds of cables, chargers, and adapters, everything to enhance the EV ownership experience. So if you need a charger, either a J1772 or Tesla, Lectron has you cover. If you want a V2L adapter for your new Hyundai, they can help. Or if you're shopping for a level two charger, Lectron has myriad options, including this beefy 48 amp unit with a convenient NEMA 1450 plug so you don't have to hardwire it into your home's electrical system, though it can be if that's what you prefer. Either route is an option. For more information about Lectron and their broad range of products, scan the on-screen QR code or hit the link in the description box below. Now, okay, back to folks that don't need a level two charger. If you're an around towner and only drive 10 miles or so to work every day and never take long trips, the 120 volt level one trickle charger that comes with many electric vehicles is perfectly fine. They can usually add two to three miles of range per hour to a battery, depending on the vehicle, of course, which means you should be fully topped up by the next morning. Easy peasy, no need to spend extra money. Now, other people that may not need a level two charger are workplace juicers or folks that charge at the office. Many employers offer reduced cost or even free charging as a perk. You could drive to work, plug in for your shift, and then leave with a full or nearly full battery. If this is an option, you may not need to install any new hardware at home. Level one charging may be all you need, but of course everyone's situation is different. And finally, urban motorists that live in densely populated cities probably don't even have a dedicated place to park their EV, much less a spot to install a level two charger. Of course, this may not be an issue at all because in this case, there are probably enough public chargers nearby that you don't need to purchase and install your own. Now, many drivers will want a level two charger, but there are motorists out there that can't install one or simply don't need to. So if you're an around towner, a workplace juicer, or an urbanite motorist, go ahead and pocket the money you saved or invest it in your favorite cryptocurrency. I mean, that's where I put all of my retirement savings. So you need a level two charger for your electric vehicle, but what's the best option? Is something with a NEMA 620 plug good enough or should you go the 1450 route? What about a hardwired unit? Is this a smarter option or can you get away with the combo charger that may have come with your vehicle? There are many factors to consider. Now, if you're still on the fence about getting a level two charger, check out our other video where we explore the reasons why you should or shouldn't invest in one. 
But broadly speaking, when it comes to level 2 chargers, or bulkier but more feature-rich charging stations, there are two routes. You can get a plug-in unit, typically with a NEMA 620, 1030, or 1450N that taps into a 240 volt outlet, or you can opt for a charger that hardwires directly into your home's electrical system. Each of these setups has advantages and disadvantages. Going the NEMA route can be more affordable and convenient. If you have an existing outlet in your garage, you just plug the charger in and you're good to go. Intelligent socket splitters for NEMA 1030 and 1450 outlets are also available, so you can conveniently run, say, your clothes dryer and charge your car from the same power source without tripping a breaker or needing to install a second outlet. Another advantage of plug-in chargers is that if you ever want to relocate the unit from one area to another, or if you move, you just unplug the thing and go. There's no digging through electrical boxes to disconnect wires, which a lot of people will not be comfortable doing. And of course, if you are shopping for a level two charger, our friends at Lectron can help. They sell all kinds of EV specific hardware, everything to enhance the ownership experience. So if you need a portable charger, either J1772 or Tesla, Lectron has you covered. If you want a V2L adapter for your new Hyundai, they can help. Looking for a heavy duty extension cable? Not a problem. Or if you're shopping for a level two charger, Lectron has myriad options, including this beefy 48 amp unit with a convenient NEMA 1450 plug, so it doesn't have to be hardwired into your home's electrical system, though it can be if that's what you prefer, because either route is an option. So for more information about Lectron and their broad range of products, scan the on-screen QR code or hit the link in the description box below. Opting for a hardwired level two charger is less convenient, but the big advantage is that they can provide faster vehicle charging. As its name suggests, the commonly used NEMA 1450 plug puts out up to 50 amps of current, though the most powerful charger you can use is 40 amps. Now, for safety reasons, there's this thing known as the 80% rule that basically says continuous current draws shouldn't pull more than 80% of a circuit breaker's capacity. There needs to be a little bit of breathing room. So 80% of 50 is 40. Make sense? Great. Now, that being said, the standard J1772 connector for level 1 and level 2 charging supports up to 80 amps at 19.2 kilowatts. And this means hardwired chargers can deliver much more juice for quicker charging, though this speed advantage may only matter with EVs that have huge batteries, like electric trucks. To work, 80 amp chargers need dedicated circuits with heavy duty wiring, which can cost a lot to install. And honestly, more affordable 32 or 40 amp plug-in chargers are probably perfectly fine for most EV drivers. As for the various NEMA plugs you may run across, 620, 1030, and 1450, each one has a different design, and you'll have to decide which option is right for you based on your situation and how quickly you need to charge. Overall, NEMA 1450 is probably the best route, but you may already have a 620 or 1030 outlet in your garage that you could plug into without having to run a new line from your electrical panel. Either of those will provide more than respectable performance that is miles ahead of pokey level one charging. Now, aside from all of that, with certain electric vehicles, you may not have to worry about buying a level two charger at all. Some of them come standard with clever combination chargers that support either level one or level two charging. And basically, you just swap the end and you're good to go. These units may not charge as quickly as dedicated level two chargers, and you may prefer leaving the factory hardware in your vehicle's trunk so you have it in case of emergency, but these included chargers can absolutely be your everyday charging solution if you don't want to spend extra money. When it comes to level two chargers, most drivers will probably be happiest with a NEMA 1450 plug-in unit because of their portability and ease of use, but a hardwired charger is a great option as well, as is the included unit if your EV came with one.
If you've made the leap and purchased an EV, congrats! A world of smooth, efficient, and torquey motoring awaits. To ensure you live your best electric vehicle life, you probably want to install a level 2 charger in your garage or carport or wherever you park regularly. I'm not going to judge. But before you head down that road, there are some things to be aware of. And right out of the gate, this can either be a dead simple operation or a complicated mess that literally costs you thousands of dollars. On the easy end of the spectrum, if you already have an appropriate power supply, like a NEMA 1450 outlet, and it's in a good location, you're set. Just plug your charger of choice in and let your vehicle start absorbing all of that sweet, succulent electricity. Of course, this assumes you bought a charger with a plug on it. Some units require hardwired connections, so be aware of that before purchasing. One step up the difficulty ladder, if you're not blessed with easily accessible 240 volt power, you'll have to run a new line from your electrical panel to wherever you plan on juicing up your EV. And if you're super handy, this might be something you could tackle yourself, but most people will probably want to hire a qualified electrician so they know the work is done safely and correctly. And safely, because safety matters. It's the only way you can stay safe. Are the lawyers good with that? We don't have any lawyers. <laughs> That's sweet. I can say whatever I want. Now, pricing for this sort of job will vary based on myriad factors, but it'll likely cost you at least a few hundred dollars beyond the price of the level two charger itself, which you need to purchase if your vehicle didn't come with one. Now, if you drive an EV from a manufacturer that doesn't provide any charging hardware, no sweat because Lectron can help. You see, they sell all kinds of cables, chargers, and adapters, everything to enhance the EV ownership experience. So if you need a portable charger, either J1772 or Tesla, Lectron has you covered. If you want a new V2L adapter for your Hyundai, they can help. Or if you're shopping for a level two charger, Lectron has myriad options, including this beefy 48 amp unit with a convenient NEMA 1450 plug. So it doesn't have to be hardwired into your home's electrical system, though it can be if that's what you prefer because either route is an option. So for more information about Lectron and their broad range of products, scan the on-screen QR code or hit the link in the description box below. So if you need to run a new 240 volt line, you may also have to upgrade your electrical panel. That is, replace the main box and all the fuses or circuit breakers. And this isn't necessarily a terrible idea if your home is older. Breakers can go bad over time and safety standards do change. You may also need a new panel if the existing one is full, if there isn't enough room to add more breakers to accommodate new circuits, like a dedicated line for your EV charger. And overall, having a professional do the work, not that guy your cousin's best friend knew back in high school, this job will likely cost a couple thousand bucks, so it's not cheap. Now, the worst case scenario when installing a level two charger is needing an electrical service upgrade. If your home is old, it may only have 30 or 60 amp service, which is not going to cut it. And this is something you should be able to figure out by looking at the number on the main circuit breaker. If your service comes up short, your best bet is upgrading to 200 amps, which will give you plenty of breathing room for charging EVs, while also providing space to grow in the future. Expect a service upgrade to cost several thousand dollars, though again, there are many variables in play. So installing a level two charger can be super easy or a major expense. To recap, all you might have to do is plug the thing in and you're good to go, but depending on what you purchased, your charger may have to be hardwired, which of course is a little bit more challenging. Certain drivers will have to run a new 240 volt line out to their garage or carport, which will cost you. Of course, other homes will require a new power panel to accommodate a charger. And finally, older houses could need an entire electrical service upgrade, which is the worst case scenario. Next, watch our EV Basics episode about easy ways to reduce electric vehicle range anxiety. With a little planning and common sense, you don't have to worry about running out of juice. Click over here to learn the secrets right now.